Hey guys, the new RGT is one of the best affordable crawlers on the market, but it's got a very big problem, which we are going to solve today, and we're going to do some free mods. <laughs> So guys, this is the RGT Pro Runner and this is truly an amazing car. This car has got full ball bearings, we've got metal gears inside there, we've got a two-speed gearbox, a four-wheel drive, a two-wheel drive, a dig function, a fully working light system, a winch and it's very capable. And you will pay only around 350 bucks for this car, which I think is a pretty good deal. But during my review video, if you haven't seen that yet, I will put the link down below so you can check that out for yourself, I found a big flaw inside this car and in this video we are going to solve that. This tiny servo will cause you a lot of problems, so what is this? Well this is the selector for the two wheel drive, the four wheel drive and the dig function. But straight out of the factory the endpoints aren't set correctly and therefore it burned on me even before I drove the car and that's pretty annoying. And this is the second RGT car that I own which has exactly the same problem. So RGT guys please solve it. So let me first show you where this servo is located. Here you will find two tiny servers, so this one is for the two speed gearbox and this is the problem maker. So I'm going to open the receiver box up and I'm going to plug in a different server so I can clearly show you how you can solve this problem. Before you start I recommend to disconnect all of the channels except for the ESC and except for this servo. So I recommend to disconnect the winch, disconnect the steering servo and disconnect the shifting servo and you have to disconnect one of the motor leads. The next thing to do is to make sure that channel number 7 is in the middlest position and then we are going to enter the menu inside this transmitter. To enter the menu full throttle all the way to the left and then press and hold the power button until you hear a beep. After the beep, release everything and press the on off button once. And now it should go rapidly flashing. Then we are going to set the endpoints of the trigger and the steering. And you do that by just full throttle reversed a couple of times and also the steering all the way to the left and right and then you are done. And now we can adjust the first endpoint of channel number 7. The first thing that we are going to do, slide channel number 7 all the way to the right. And then you can use this dial to adjust the endpoint. So this is the steering dual rate and you can use this turning knob to adjust the endpoint. So I am going to do it like this. If you, have, or if you are done with this one, just go to the middle position and set that endpoint. When you have set that one, all the way to the left and then you can use the same dial again to set that endpoint. And when you are all done, press the on off button once and it will save your settings. Now when you are going to use channel number 7, then you can see that we have adjusted the endpoint. But let us do that again. Now let me show you up close how to set the endpoints properly. So I'm already in the menu with the transmitter so I can adjust the first endpoint. So channel number 7 on the transmitter is all the way to the right and I'm going to adjust the first endpoint. So all the way to the right and this little part should move freely when uh, it's engaged. So when it's too tight you cannot move it but when it's all fine then uh, it's good to go. So now you can see I can move it a tiny bit and then it's all fine. Then on channel number 7 go to the middle position and do the same thing so your back wheel should spin freely in the in this mode which they do and then we are going to put the transmitter all the way to the left and then we are going to set this endpoint. so move the car a little bit forward and backward so it is engaged and now just make sure it's not too tight so it's like this so now I can move it freely but still you know the four wheel drive is engaged so now we are good to go. So press the on off button once to save the settings and now you can see that we have yes, set the endpoints correctly as it should. Another tip I want to give you is about the rock sliders. So the rock sliders also holds the body in place but there's a slight issue with that. So let me throw on the body and show you what the issue is. 
So the rock slider also should hold the body in place, but as you can see it doesn't do a really good job. So the other side I already did a small modification and now it's secured in there like it should. So this will prevent the body from cracking if you roll the body over. So let me show you what I've done to do that. The rock sliders are secured with four screws. Just remove the four screws and reinstall them, but now with a little bit of a spacer in between the rock slider and the chassis. If you don't have got any spacers, you can use a bigger nut for example. The point is just to risen the rock slider a little bit, so when it's risen a little bit, the body will fit more in the ditch and therefore it will be more sturdy. Another small tip that I can give you is to check the dual rate of the steering. So what I found out is that the dual rate wasn't set correctly and therefore I didn't have the maximum travel. So this little knob is the dual rate. So when you turn this one up you can see that it will go even further than factory off. And now you will have a better steering angle. Another thing is to check all the screws. So what I found out is that I had a couple of loose screws inside the car and I found one at the drive shaft. And that's a big problem. So I removed all of the screws from the drive shaft and reinstall them with a little bit of Loctite. So guys that were some tips to improve the Pro Runner from RGT. So when you have done those little things you know then you will have just an amazing car. Especially for the price. Just remember this car has got a 2 speed gearbox, ball bearings, metal gears, a 2 wheel drive, 4 wheel drive, a dig function and a lot more. And just look at the light system guys. I just totally in love with this car. So for this video guys that was it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. If you got any questions or suggestions leave a comment below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.